Hi there, I am Titanium Man. Or I could have called this video, oops, I did it again. I had to get another major joint. I had to get another major joint. Number three, my right hip. After a three month wait for surgery, and in about probably another two months prior to that of trying different things to alleviate the pain. The osteoarthritis got so bad, had to get my right hip replaced. And that was last October, so about almost two months in, started riding my trike again after, oh, six weeks. At first a 15 minute ride, then a 30 minute ride, then an hour ride. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back. And if you've been following my channel, you know I've had a really rough last almost two years. In the middle of the pandemic, my left hip went out. It was too painful to walk the dogs or bend over or do just about anything. Had that replaced quickly in about a month. Uh, I had my surgery after that diagnosis. And then about another eight months later, my right uh, knee went out. And that was very, very painful. Much longer recovery. Had that done, I think it was last um, February. And then while that was recovering, my left, no, my <laughs> dyslexia, my right hip went out. So then I had to have my right hip done, as you know, that, as I said earlier, that really took a few months to get taken care of. It's been about almost two months. I'm hoping to ride for another hour, maybe an hour and a half, uh, depending on the trike, because now my trike is having problems. It's now three o'clock and I've been trying to ride since this morning. I had to keep resetting my trike uh, since I've been sitting so long. I had to readjust the headrest, uh, had to clean it, oil the chain. Um, and then I found the air shock it was flat. So I pumped it up and it went flat again. And I pumped it up again and it went flat again. And I said, okay, pumped it up again, stayed, had lunch. Took the trike out about two o'clock and it went flat again. Had to bring the trike back into the house and refill the air shock. Apparently it has a leak. Can't do any big epic four hour rides like get that done. I might have to replace the air shock. So just like me, even my trike needs spare parts from time to time. So uh, this is a quick little vlog, let you know I'm back. I've got a lot of stuff planned. I've been asked by uh, Rakesha Falco to do some videos with him and I've been uh, I've got a few people I want to interview I've got a very interesting gentleman in Boca coming up I'm meeting him tomorrow to uh, do some adjustments to his uh, ice scorpion that he just took and this man is 84 years old it's gonna be a very interesting story his first trike and I'm gonna customize it for him tomorrow and uh, do a little interview and that should be interesting Anyway, so please like and subscribe to this video. Uh, when you do that, YouTube will say, aha, this is a good video, and we're gonna recommend it to more people who are uh, of similar uh, interest. So please, please, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll know when the next video comes up, and it really, really helps me uh, promote uh, recumbent bikes and trikes and all the things that most of my audience really loves or is thinking about getting into anyway with that um just gonna sign off this was a quick little video i'm joel Lightcatcher, and i will see you really really soon keep on riding don't give up no matter what parts get replaced on your trike or yourself bye bye